I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And I was recently looking in the settings area, looking at the software section, and I noticed that my device was still on the March update. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to force this device to install an update by flashing the firmware via Odin. And then you can see that even though I am on June's Google Play system update, the device has yet to download the over-the-air update past March. This is common among devices that have an unlocked bootloader because when you try to download and install the update through the built-in updater, you're going to get a registration failed toast message at the bottom. So if you get a res registration failed message at the bottom, I'm going to show you how to download and install the latest Android firmware for your Samsung Galaxy S21, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, and the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. So as mentioned, I'm going to be flashing the firmware via Odin. And to do that, I need to boot the device into download mode. So we're going to turn off the phone. We're going to get a USB cable that is already connected to the PC. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, I've done a previous tutorial that shows you how to boot into download mode by pressing and holding the volume up and down buttons while inserting a USB cable. Now that we have our Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in download mode, we can then download the firmware. I have used the program called Freya to download the latest firmware for my device. You're going to need to know the firmware model as well as the CSC or region code. If you're not familiar with how to find the CSC region code, which you can see is TPA for me. I've, done, I've shown you in a previous tutorial how to find that information, and I'll be linking to it in the video description below. Here is the Freya program that I told you about. I just put the model number and the CSC region code, checked for the latest update, and then downloaded that update. Once that update was downloaded, it gave me this zip file which I simply extracted with the program called 7-Zip, but you can also use a program like WinRAR or WinZip to just extract the contents of this file, which will give you these files. You'll get an AP file, a BL file, a CP file, a CSC file, and then a home CSC file. These files are what make up the firmware that we have installed on our Galaxy S21. And we're going to be using the program called Odin in order to flash those files to our device. So if you have not downloaded Odin yet, do so now. I'll be linking to the download in the video description. Once that has been downloaded and extracted, just like we extracted the contents of that firmware, you're going to find an odin.exe file, and then we can open that up to get this screen. You should see your Galaxy S21 that is connected to the PC with the USB cable should be detected while the phone is in download mode. You can see that by the log here where it says the device was added. We can unplug the cable and you can see it now says removed because the device is no longer detected but while the device is in download mode and we plug it in not only should Odin detect it up here could be in this slot or this slot or any of these others but it also should say added as well so what we have here is some slots that we're going to insert four of these files into. 
So you can see we have buttons here. We have just clicked the BL button and then selected the file that begins with BL. That's all we've done. Then we've clicked the, we can go to the CP button. We just click that CP button and then we find the file that begins with CP. Now when we do that to the AP file, you can see this is a very large file compared to the others. This is over seven gigabytes. So whenever we add the AP file, it's gonna take a little time to add. Wait patiently, you may get this circle mouse cursor with Odin say it is, saying it is not responding. That is normal. We're just going to be patient and wait for Odin to unpack that AP file and put it in the slot right there. And again, it's just gonna take a few seconds, usually depending on how fast your computer is. And once that AP file has been added, you can see it is no longer set to not responding. Now, even though we have a user data box, we're not going to be inserting anything here. Instead, we're going to click the CSC button. And again, we have two files here. We have a CSC and we have home CSC. If you want to retain all of your user data, if you want to retain your pictures, your apps, all of that, you want to select the home underscore CSC file. If you select the regular CSC file here, all of your user data will be erased, again, including your pictures, videos, apps, and games that you have installed. You will have to activate Android all over again if you select the CSC button, which is sometimes required in order to fix very bad bugs that are not fixed through regularly flashing the firmware. But we're not focusing on that today. We're just going to update our phone. So we're going to select the home underscore CSC file. Now, as you can see here, we've done, we've added four files to Odin, the BL file, the AP file, the CP file, and the home underscore CSC file. After all of that's added, and we double check to make sure that our device is still added. We are ready to manually install that over the air update. So all we have to do is press start right here. And we're going to wait for Odin to flash the firmware to our Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Not only are we going to be getting a progress meter right here but we're also getting a progress bar on the Galaxy S21 Ultra as well. If you want, you can follow along to find out what file is currently being flashed and installed to our smartphone. You see a lot of these files right here are very small, so they go by very quickly. But then whenever we get to a big image file like super.img, it takes a little bit of time. This is a big file. So we're just going to wait patiently, make sure that USB ca uh, cable connection to our phone is stable. There's no need to be wiggling the cable to interrupt that connection. Now, unless you have manually unchecked the auto reboot option, your phone should actually reboot automatically once it says pass right here, which it has. As you can see now, the phone is in the process of rebooting. And again, as long as we get that pass message on Odin, that means the phone has been updated and we can actually unplug that USB cable 
from the Galaxy S21 right now. Now you may even see the device reboot on its own after the initial reboot has happened, and that's fine. Again, we're just going to wait patiently until the device completes this reboot and boots us back into the Android operating system. So we have booted our phone back up into Android, opened up the settings application. We're diving back into the software information section so that we can double check and make sure everything was installed properly. We're still on the May Google Play system update, but if we look down to the bottom, we are now on the August security patch for Android. So if you ever find that your Samsung Galaxy S21 is no longer downloading or installing those new over-the-air updates, this is how you can manually flash those firmware updates to your smartphone using the Odin program.